All right, so you're coming up on your thousand mile service on your Harley. Do you bring it to your dealer or do you do it yourself and save yourself a couple hundred bucks? Well, we're here with a 2023 Road Glide ST and that's what we're gonna find out. All right, so I'm here with Mike. Mike's my cousin. If you don't know that already, you see him in a lot of my videos that we, that we ride around. Say hi, Mike. What's up? <laughs> so how many miles we got on this, Mike? How many miles? Let's see. I said 135. That's it. Exactly. So we do for the, the 1,000 mile service. And what do we do with the 1,000 mile service? We do what? Oil? We do oil. Transmission? Transmission. Yeah. yeah. All genuine Harley stuff, right? Formula Plus for the transmission and the primary genuine Harley filter. I think I'll just start off by draining it. Okay. So we warmed up, the engine's warmed up. The engine's warmed up. What size bolt is that? Five eighths. Five eighths. Could also use an Allen wrench in there too, in the center of it, which I prefer to use the full five eighths. There it is. Right there, there's the bolt. Well, I just lost it in there. All right. Would it fall in? Yeah, that's right. I'll get it later. That's normal. That's breaking, right? Yeah. No big so. chunks. Thank God. So now we're doing the oil. You got two more. You got one. You got the other one right here. You got two for the oil? No. Well, one's the oil. And one's the transmission. Oh, oh, they're right next to each other. Yeah, it's almost confusing. Like which one's which. What if does Holly use all three in the same? stock or do they do i don't know actually that's a good question the guy at where we bought this from said that he used transmission oil in the transmission we're going to put formula plus in there because that's what the manual says and what size is this same thing five eighths five eighths are they all five eighths yeah that's convenient that one don't look too bad yeah that's definitely motor oil I do tin foil. Do it's you? Much, much easier to form, and it's, it's lighter and it's easier. But I just think tin foil is easier to, you know, kind of make you like channel right down to like a pan. So I got a special oil wrench filter thing. So like to get it on, see, I turn it to the left and it opens it, and then when it go this way, it, it tightens it. And here we go. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. That was great. Did you get that on film? <laughs> yes. Perfect. It would have been a nice clean if you didn't drop the oil filter. Yeah, it would have. Would have, could have, should have. Yeah, well, this is training. Oh, training. Here we go. Found the plug. Plug looks good, right? Yeah, man. It's not too bad. A little bit of schmutchies, but nothing hard. So we just put the primary plug back in. Now we're doing... The what are we doing? This is the plug, engine right? oil plug. Yep, putting it back in the same spot. The O rings look really good, so I'm reusing them. And the plugs do have, from the factory, they've got some kind of sealant. Some kind of sealant, yep. It. And don't use Teflon tape. That's what I, someone says. I've seen videos and people say don't use Teflon tape. I know people do it, but we just looked it up and it says no, Teflon tape is not meant for high heat of engine oils. And petroleum and it'll actually melt and go into your into your oil and into your engine so what do you put is that the tranny yeah put a little oil in there which i don't like doing because i just end up spilling it all over the place spill out <sighs> you can't even spin it right because it's too uh it's got like two threads on there you go yeah i ain't getting any more than that and what'd you say three it takes it's four plus one. Four plus, plus one is that you got to top it off. You know, one quart. Yeah. So it's five quarts. Yeah. Three eighths hex. Now this should take one, right? One quart. Yeah, I'm gonna do three quarters of it and then measure. I guess it will take the whole thing. Yep, right at the bottom of the plate. Perfect. Yep. Some read 
reading this out loud with you because I never used the gauge before. I used to just do it by hand. All right, so it says, models equ equipped with belt deflection window. Measure the belt deflection as viewed through the belt deflection viewing window while holding the gauge steady. Each deflection graduation is approximately 1 16th of an inch. So that means those lines on the belt deflector right. equal 1 16th. I don't have a Road King, I don't have a Street Glide, I don't have a Street Glide Special. All other touring models, standard shock absorbers, 3 8 to 9 16 That's the tolerance, right? That's the tolerance, that's the deflection. Actually, could you turn the wheel so I could find the loosest spot? Turn the wheels so you can find the loosest spot. It's pretty tight. I like to go right there, that's good. Right there? Yeah. So this is your 10 pounds of pressure. You're gonna put this on. So I guess we're gonna push this up until we have 10 pounds and see how much the belt moves. Yep. Let's see how much it moves up. I'd say that's 316s by even looking at the top of this. Yeah. Because you see how like the top of this is lined up with the bottom one? Yeah. I'm flat on there, right? I'm going to put my 10 pounds of pressure. Let me make sure this. Put that to 10. I'm going to put this at 10 pounds. Right? And it moved up. It moved up three. One, three. two, three. Which is 316. 316s. So it's good. You see it? Yep. Front's supposed to be 36. Back's supposed to be 40. Yep. Yeah, it's one. It's thirty-four pounds okay. instead of thirty-six. Actually, not really. It's still say thirty-six. Yeah, it's just thirty-six. It needs to be forty. We're gonna add some more. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let me check these back here. We don't have to lubricate the uh, steering head bearings. There's no X there. There's no windshield bush bushings to check. Uh, engine oil filter we did. Primary chase lubricant, chain case lubricants done. Transmission lubricants replaced. Oil and brake lines were inspected. Fuel lines and fittings were inspected. The rear brake, brake fluid was inspected. That the fluid is full through the window. And then you're just checking. Yeah, you're just checking. So now this one, the sometimes guys let this go really long and this space gets very wide. It's only supposed to be about like an eighth of an inch, which it is. See, it's about the most I could pull out. I'm really pulling that. And you let it go. It, it's perfect. What you doing, Mike? <laughs> We're looking up torque specs. Looking up torque specs. What do we want to check? We want to check the axle bolts? We want to check the axle bolts. So we're basically done with the maintenance part. Uh, we've gone through all the checks, right? You check the, the tightness of the controls and mm -hmm. we check the brake fluid and everything's good. We just want to check the uh, torque specs on the axle bolts and make sure, uh, make sure it's good. Checking the oil, it's a quick ride. And what is it close to what, five quarts? 4.75. 4.75. And we put in four, right? Put in four. A little low? It says a little bit low, just like you see, see this spot right here? It says full hot on Jiffy stand. So I'm gonna bring it up, up to where my nail is. All right, so put in one more quart. You can do a full quart. Oh no, that's right, because it's 4.7 total. You're just topping it off, needing a little more. I have a feeling this might be too much already. That. Yep. Very good. All right, oil's topped off. We are done. 529 chief. <laughs> we did everything, checked everything. Did the oil, transmission, uh, primary. Checked all the bolts. Checked the torque. Checked all your controls. We're good. Right there. Excellent. Easy peasy. <laughs> All this part was taking taking the video <laughs> and looking up torque specs. Looking up torque specs. <laughs> that's funny. All right, that's it. 2023 Roller Guide done. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Later.